one of the major theological themes in the letters of St. Paul is that because of the disobedience of Adam and Eve, our first parents, to God's command, then all of creation, full, full, fail, fail, all creation fell from grace. And that's how death came into the world. And it took Jesus Christ, God's Son, who was obedient completely to the Father, even unto death, to reverse that trajectory. Through Jesus, as we heard in today's second reading, as he rose from the dead as the first fruit of those who rise from the dead, then all those who believe in Jesus also will share in that same resurrection. And believing in Jesus doesn't mean just that, yes, Jesus is the Son of God, he rose from the dead. Believing in Jesus is believing in the Word of God, as Mary did. When she said yes to God's Word to her, that she will give birth to the Son of God. And today what we celebrate is this promise that Jesus made to all of us has been fulfilled for Mary. When we die, our body will decompose, our soul will continue its journey towards God, and at the end of time, when Jesus returns, then we will get new immortal bodies. For Mary, that all happened at the moment of her death. She was given that new immortal body, and body and soul was taken up to heaven. Why? Because she too was obedient to the Father's will till the end even as she stood at the bottom, at the feet of the cross in which her son was hanging on. So Mary's reward for her fidelity to the Word of God is that she's with God in heaven from the moment she died. Now, although this teaching became a dogma in the church in 1950, when the Pope at that time made it an infallible teaching of the church, but we could again go back to the beginning of Christianity. We we'll see different authors, different doctors of the church, different bishops talking about this promise being fulfilled for Mary, that she's with God in heaven, both body and spirit. And the church gives us this feast as a holy day of obligation to kind of support our hope, to give us the hope that one day we can have that same promise. But again, we have to be like Mary. We have to listen to the Word of God. We need to reflect on it as Mary did in her heart, and we have to say yes to it. Today is not just about Mary, but today is a reminder to us what awaits us if we follow the example of Mary and say yes to God's Word in our lives.